Double Slit Experiment In this audio explanation, I will explain how the mystery of the double slit experiment is finally resolved. Listen to the end for the full answer. Before I get into the double slit experiment, let me explain a few things about empty space and matter. Empty space and matter each have their own dimension qualities. Matter is considered to be an anomaly in an empty space dimension, which appeared into the empty space dimension from the Big Bang. When a matter such as a huge planetary body exists in the outer space, it stretches and curves its surrounding empty space. The stretched and curved empty space around the planet automatically starts a process to contract and to compress the planet as though to force and squeeze it out of the empty space dimension. It behaves as though matter is an unwelcome intruder. This contracting force around the matter is known as the gravity field. Any new object that comes close to the planet will get caught up in the gravity field in the empty space around the planet. The new object is not actually getting pulled towards the planet by the planet itself, but it is actually caught up in the stretched and curved space around the planet that is attempting to squeeze the planet out of the empty space dimension. The stretching and curving of empty spaces around objects happen everywhere in this dimension universe. Even small objects such as coins and papers are stretching and curving the empty spaces around them. Now let's talk about the double slit experiment. When there's only one open slit, both walls stretch and curve the empty spaces around them and form microgravity waves around both walls. Because the gravity waves are similar, particles that travel close to either of them would not travel in a trajectory that is too different from the other. When a second slit is introduced, there are now three separate walls and the center wall forms a circular gravity field around it. Particles that happen to go into the circular gravity field now would travel along a very curved space. However, the gravity field around the center wall is too weak for the particles to orbit around it. The particles therefore travel on curved slingshot trajectories on either sides of the circular gravity field, gaining momentum and having sufficient slingshot energy to gain escape velocities to leave the pull of the circular gravity field. Due to the different contracting levels of the circular gravity field, particles could go into different levels of its circular gravity field and end up leaving the circular gravity field in different escape locations. They would end up hitting the screen in different areas forming a strip pattern that some people have mistakenly referred to as a wave pattern caused by wave or particle interference. Let's now go into the mystery of the particle detector so-called collapsing the wave particle duality. There is a mass differential between the dimension of the empty space and the dimension of the matter. Let's refer to this as dimension differential for easy reference. Before the particle detector is turned on with electricity, there is a huge dimension differential between the empty space and the matter from the three walls. Such a dimension differential forms the circular gravity field around the center wall. After the particle detector is turned on with electricity, the empty space is flooded with added mass in the form of electromagnetic energy, which lowers the dimension differential between the empty space and the matter from the three walls. The empty space would now have to contract the added mass coming from the magnetic field to push it out of its dimension. Such would have the effect of cancelling out some of the gravity contracting force around the center wall while collapsing its circular gravity field around it. A suitable example would be water tides that seem to slightly detach from the Earth's gravity and rise between the moon and the Earth at night. The center wall now loses much of its circular gravity field. This has the effect of lowering the overall gravitational potential energy from the three walls in relation to any particle that travels around its proximity. Such lowers the dimension differential between empty space and the walls and the traveling particles causing them to seem to be less gravitationally attracted to one another. Particles that now travel in two slits would now travel in a lesser curved gravity field resulting in two main stripped areas where they would hit the screen. It would now seem as though the particles have lost their so-called wave interference pattern due to the turning on of the particle detector to observe their paths. This audio explanation is accompanied with a dark video screen. 
for the purpose of not creating too much of a gravity contracting field around the video that could force the answer out of this dimension. I hope you have enjoyed this explanation. Do leave a like and subscribe to the channel.